Hey, Dr. Mavis again. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you. And I hope you have subscribed and shared with your community to also subscribe so that they can also be learning with you. In this session, I want to talk about the biggest work challenges. What are the biggest ch work challenges of our time? The biggest work challenges of our time. Yes, we are experiencing, you know, um, a high rate of change, acceleration, um, you know, the change in skill sets, the change in uh, technical sets. Um, and that's why we need to keep on learning so that we can update and upgrade our own skill sets. But the biggest challenge is actually not technical. It's not the skill sets. The biggest challenge is psychological. The biggest challenge is psychological. And that's why we are seeing now, um, you know, the challenges in mental health, challenges in the workplace. We're seeing, um, you know, a, a high, um, an increase in depression, um, an increase in anxiety, panic attacks at, at work. So the biggest work challenges of our time are not skill-based, they are not technical, they are psychological. So what does that mean? We need to actually become very psychologically, uh, um, you know, uh, literate. We need to learn about our own psychology. We need to understand our own psychology so that we are able to manage, um, you know, the emotions or, um, you know, the emotional uh, stimulation and the constant emotional challenges that we experience at work as a result of the changing environment. So sometimes people are, um, you know, in denial of the changes. They are resisting the changes. They are blaming someone. They find themselves and they feel helpless about the changes that they're going through. And all of these negative emotions do not actually help someone to adapt or to learn the new skill sets and mindset that they need to learn um, in the changing environment. So the biggest challenges are psychological. And what that means is we need to become conversant. Work is no longer just about, you know, the physical aspects where you show, uh, where you bring your body to the work and you just do your work. It's also now very emotionally involved. So what that means is that we need to be emotionally literate. We need to understand our own psychology so that we can manage our own psychology. Otherwise, we are going to experience the most challenging, um, you know, era of our lives as we see the increase in the, you know, the psychological harm that's happening at work, um, the psychological challenges that people are experiencing at work. So we need to start mastering. How do I manage my own psychology so that I'm not a victim of my own psychology? Thanks for tuning in.